Let's talk about this impact. When we heard President William Ruto of Kenya announcing, announcing that he's taking off visa from all countries, like you don't need a visa to get into Kenya to do business and all other things, what has been the impact of such a decision when it comes to trading with other African countries and even internationally? What has been the Im impact to the whole of East Africa with this decision? And if other presidents take such a de decision, what is going to be the impact? The, the impact is huge, Emanuela, and uh, let, me, let me say that uh, um, Kenya is not the first to do that. that. Rwanda did it. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, Rwanda has waived off all the visa for Africans. Uh, so it is easier to, uh, to look at the, the positive uh, impact by visa removal. You see an enormous uh, investment flows or trade flows to Rwanda. And as I mentioned, statistically, and uh, your Rwanda is the, now the fastest growing uh, economy in the world because of uh, creating a conducive uh, environment uh, for uh, tourists, for businesses, for investors across the continent. So I think the, there is a good learning lesson and the Kenya coming on board. Uh, and I think also other countries are coming on board because the integration is about people centered. People must enjoy the fruits of uh, integration. Mm -hmm. And the number of people have been constrained by those barriers, including travel related barriers. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said that our readers now are, are, are awake in terms of understanding that those barriers don't generate prosperity. Those barriers, including visa requirements, are hindering prosperity. So I think this is a wake up call for all the heads of state, yeah. what Kenya is doing. The, the effects are very positive, are very enormous. You can see even as uh, uh, we are looking at the data, Kenya is ahead of a number of countries in terms of uh, attracting investment, attracting the flows, oh. trade flows. A number of uh, organizations are establishing in Kenya. A number of investments is coming to Kenya. Kenya is going to just double digit growth by that, by just a simple measure of removing the visa yeah. for Africans. Yeah. And I think it is exciting. And as a East African Business Council, mm -hmm. we want to commend and congratulate His Excellency Dr. William Ruto yeah. for that noble, noble, very noble initiative. And I really want to congratulate him for doing that. And I call upon all African because now very my sister Lucy was uh, was mentioning about intra-regional trade in uh, in Cairo. I've been it has taken me a whole week applying for visa. Eh? <laughs> A whole week for it's Africans so to move difficult. into African continent. Yeah, it's a sad situation, a very absurd situation. Why? Why should I? Yeah, I don't want to go and stay in Cairo. What I'm going to do there? I'm going to do networking, to do business. So we've been really, uh, uh, we've been really creating poverty for our own, for our own people, for ourselves, by erecting such barriers to trade. 